Hello there, Facebook. How's everybody doing today? My name is Eliza Bloom Robinson. I am a transformational catalyst, and I am the owner and the founder and the CEO of the Center for Divine Awakening. The Center for Divine Awakening is a non-church. It is a ministry without walls. It is a um, next generation spiritual boutique that is dedicated to the awakening of the world. One heart, one soul at a time. What we teach, what we offer, what we live is ease in the midst of stress. Clarity in the midst of overwhelm and peace in the chaos. We do all of this through the awakening process, which is a part of the spiritual practices that we teach. I'm going to tell you how. Yes, in less than seven minutes, this is a part of the tip and teach challenge, uh, which is a part of the social boomers. If you are here live, I would love to know who's here. I just uh, type a hello so I can see you in the comments. And if you have a question, go ahead and, and pop, a, pop a question in there. So before I tell you how to find these things in the midst of these things, I want to just um, take a minute. Uh, my signature question really is this, and I want you to answer it. I want you to feel it. I want you to drop out of your head and into your body and feel your response to this question. Would it be all right with you if life got easier? <sighs> I'm going to ask it again. Would it be all right with you if life got easier? It's a signature question. It's a question I've been asking for many, many years. Excuse me, I have to bend down and pick this up. And across the board, generally, people are like, oh, yeah. And the reason that the answer is like, well, uh, yeah, is because the world we live in is, generally speaking, filled with chaos, filled with overwhelm or procrastination, filled with um, stress, filled with all of those energies that keep us as an energetic being tied up in knots and so the question would it be all right with you if life got easier is the same question as would it be all right with you if you could unknot your knots would it be all right with you if you lived in the quantum field if you're a follower of quantum physics or quantum mechanics if you're christian based would it be all right with you if you could live in the kingdom of heaven the kingdom of god would it be all right with you if you're abraham hicks followers if you could figure out how to live in the vortex and live in the flow i have been on my spiritual journey since i was a teenager I am by training, by trade, by career, a unity minister, a new thought minister. I was ordained in the year 2000. And so I've been 18 years and longer than that, actually teaching spiritual principles. I started meditating in 1984, 83 or 84. I know that because my daughter was uh, not born yet. And I've been teaching meditation for 25, almost 30 years of that time. I know how to do this. I've experienced it in my own life. I've experienced, uh, I was a single mom for a lot of years. I've had a lot of chaos, a lot of stress, even in my jobs, there's been a lot of stress, but I've found the key. And it is that key that I offer my clients, that I offer in the talks that I give, that I offer in the um, opportunities that I have to share with people. I do this because what I see in the world and the stress and the impact it's having on our world and our bodies and our psyche is making us nuts. And we don't have to live that way. We do not have to live that way. So take a breath right now with me. And take another breath. And take another breath. And 
notice what you notice. Did you perhaps fall into ease? Did you perhaps let go of some stress? Did you perhaps find a, a moment of relief, a glimmer of relief or some spaciousness in your body, mind, heart, soul, and spirit? Every time that you take 30 seconds, and this is the tip and this is the teach, Every time that you take 30 seconds, and if you can go really bold and be out there, go 68 seconds to disengage from that which is running your mind, from the thoughts, the loopy minds, that you can close your eyes, that you can drop into your body, that you can feel your feet on the ground and take a few breaths with no thought. Take a few breaths to simply drop into this now moment. You will touch that place. You will touch that place of ease. And if you stay there long enough, many of us, many of the people that I know and that I work with can touch it often. But you need to stay there. It doesn't have to be long, 68 seconds. And so we're going to take 68 seconds. Oops, we're going to be over, over seven minutes if we do that. I'm going to just invite you to take 68 seconds. Just do it like this. Take a breath. Close your eyes. Let go. Feel your feet on the ground. Take another breath. Close your eyes. If you open them, let go. Surrender. Drop your awareness all the way down to your feet. Feel your feet connected to the ground and bask in a moment of ease. I'm Eliza Bloom Robinson with the Center for Divine Awakening here to help you find ease in the midst of stress, clarity in the place of overwhelm, and peace in the world of chaos. I have a couple of really great things coming up. If you comment below, private message me, I'll let you know all about the things that are coming up. Thank you so much for being here tonight. It's been my joy and my pleasure. Until next time. Bye, everyone.